Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do more of a vlog and she wants down. Ever since Ava has started walking, she just wants to be on the floor all the time. But also in my arms all the time, it's kind of hard. Um, but today I'm just gonna do a bit of a vlog. I've got some stuff to do, some organizing to do, and I thought I would film it for today. So it is currently 8.45 in the morning and I'm about to put Ava down for her first nap which is why she's a little cranky right now. So I'm hoping today will be a good and productive day. But Ava is also officially walking everywhere now. Okay, let's go. Show me the way. The nap time. Ava is down for her first nap of the day and I'm gonna get to organizing the kitchen. In these cabinets in my kitchen, I have all of this stuff that I don't use and that's why it's right on the top shelf. Um, but I actually need to use this space. Oh my God, what a mess. <laughs> I actually need to use this space for other things so I can actually use the space properly. So we picked up some more of our storage boxes from Walmart and I'm just going to be packing everything and putting it in the garage. For breakfast this morning I had coffee and a donut and I had the same thing for breakfast yesterday and the day before which is not the best so <laughs> to counteract that I had my overnight oats this morning. I'm not sure that's how it works, but um, I just couldn't believe that's how it works. But now I'm going to get into organizing these cabinets and I'm very excited because it's been driving me insane. So in this cabinet right here, it is right above the coffee machine and where we sort of prepare coffee and tea. So I think I want to put all the mugs, um, coffee mugs and teacups into this one and then put Ava's stuff um, on the top two shelves. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm going to figure out now. So since I am in the kitchen and just giving everything a good clean up, I figured I would clean my coffee machine. So I just realized I didn't have any vinegar, so I'm actually going to use apple cider vinegar. And I just read on Google um, that it would still work the same way. So, take this out. And then it says to use two parts water to one part apple cider vinegar. So I'm just gonna fill the rest of the way up with apple cider vinegar. Thank you. 
since it has literally been probably a year since I cleaned this thing, I'm just gonna let it go through the entire water tank and then I will rinse it out with multiple tanks of water after. She just woke up from an hour and a half nap. Now we're gonna play a little bit, huh? Before mommy makes lunch. And I wanted to show you guys her new play area now that it's pretty much almost completely done apart from a few things that I'm gonna get for her birthday. Um, but they won't be here for like a month. So for now this is what it looks like. So you guys saw that we got the gate and then you'll have to excuse the noise of the baby toys but her foam mat finally came in and this is what it looks like so i'll link everything down below but i have her foam mat and then that's just a yoga mat there just to <laughs> add a little bit more padding and then i put a bookshelf here to put some toys on and this is pretty much it and it works really really well for us also wanted to show you guys that um Adam made Ava a busy board i saw these all over pinterest and i thought they were the coolest things so he went to Home Depot and got all the stuff and made one for her. Um, and it has like a light switch, a light, and like some hinges and other stuff that she can just play with. <gasps> Cutest thing anyway, you're so warm. Yeah. Also, Ava loves this little IKEA bear. Out of all the bears that she has, that is the one that she's sort of. <laughs> that she goes for all the time and just carries around and reaches for when she's sleeping. And if you guys watched my last vlog, you'll know that I switched her over to the Huggies Little Movers nappies because she was getting these marks on her thighs, um, but it didn't really help at all. So I'm glad I just got a small pack. <laughs> it didn't help at all, the marks were still there. So I actually did some more research and switched her over to the Pampers 360 nappies which don't have any tape at all it's like one band that goes all the way around and you just pull them up um, when you put them on and then when you take them off you just rip them off from the side and the marks have gone away and it's so much nicer they look so comfortable they're so soft and now I know she's not in pain getting these marks or get like getting sore on her thighs I was worried about them if they were gonna leak or anything like that, but she has had no issues with it, no blowouts, and they don't leak overnight, so they are good for all night as well. So I'm glad I finally found something that worked. <laughs> you are so cute. Ava's lunch today is two scrambled eggs with shredded cheese, some mozzarella cheese stick, and then some blueberries and um, organic yogurt. Good job, baby. Good job. 
look at that all of that lunch and barely any in her bib which means it all went in her mouth which is perfect she absolutely loves scrambled eggs and blueberries not so much which is why i put a little bit of yogurt with them then she'll eat them all and she just absolutely adores cheese which you'll know if you've watched me for a while is that so yummy ava had a quick sink bath after lunch and a little change of clothes and you <laughs> god bless you you look so pretty today squirmy yeah say mama mama oopsie down we go so i have some stuff planned for when ava goes down for her second nap so i'll probably catch up with you guys then for now we are just going to be playing until she pretty much goes for her next nap <laughs> So Ava is down for her second nap of the day and I am going to do a little DIY project with you guys. Um, so I have been wanting to make Ava a growth chart. I think that's what they're called. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but something to measure her height on every single year. So I bought this five and a half. You can't even see because of the light. But I bought this piece of wood and it's five and a half inches by six foot. And I'm gonna use it. It's like the perfect size already, so I don't need to cut it. And today, I am just gonna stain it with this wood stain. So it gives it more of a light color. Right now, it's a little bit too orange from my liking. Okay, that's better. Now you can see. That's the piece I would've got. It's six foot long. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do all the markings on it. Today, I'm just gonna stain it and see how it turns out. And then I'll keep you guys updated in future videos of how it turns out. Okay, I did one coat, and this is the color that it's looking now. It's still wet, so I'm hoping it's going to sort of fade a little bit more, but it's basically just much more cool toned, which is what I wanted. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, it's not dry yet, so we'll see. Let it dry, and then see if it needs another coat, or what we'll do with it then. It is later in the day now. <laughs> We've just had dinner, and we're just going to be relaxing and watching some TV. <laughs> before we put her to bed but i wanted to come on and just end the video here so if you got this far thank you for watching and if you liked it then give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video say bye bye bye